All right, so we're gonna try the fourth project, which would be the crane, obviously. And uh, we got the jetty all programmed up last night, and this one wasn't a straight swap over, so we'll, we'll see how good I am. And it will have all your voices on there. So say something really stupid. <laughs> Yeah, this will be interesting. Okay, so yeah, not too bad. Uh, tried the taxi, and I don't know if it was the settings or if it was uh, how soft our um, landing strip is, because it's just fabric, so, and it's kind of squishy. It uh, tried to tip over, uh, but fortunately I just dropped it back down, and it was fine. Um, so, <laughs> show you how efficient this is you know i got 10,000 milliamp packs in there on 12s i flew it around for an actual four minutes of actual flying time it takes a minute to spool up and i flew it around the whole time and it was you know it was pretty much in a hover most of the time and the batteries are still at 65 percent so that just goes to show how efficient that damn thing is so I, I had to, I have a timer set for seven minutes just because that's what it was and that's what I'm used to. And yeah, it's like maybe at 50% at that seven minute mark. But so all is good. I, real efficient. I, you know, my settings were okay. This one's kind of different because I had to program everything in it. Not like the Roban uh, where I copied it over. This one was straight from scratch. And, uh, got everything programmed and all the good stuff and yeah, it works great so love the jetty it's cool now i just gotta start doing some telemetry in it and you know actually using it for what i bought it for if i get some more money so i guess i'm gonna start selling more landing gear so uh this is the sky crane and i'm trying to hold everything here so you can see kind of what's going on this is the spur gear and you definitely see where it is wearing down on the uh, the main gear. The main gear is fine. It doesn't have anything on there. I've been trying to get in there and clean it off and whatnot. And you can still see some gunk and stuff on it. But definitely see a wear pattern on that one. That kind of sucks. So probably do for a for a new one. 
what y'all think. And this is the main gear. I'm trying to, and it looks dirty because I just oiled it up just to put some lube on it. But these teeth look really good. I'm trying to get some of this stuff cleaned off. Because I cleaned it and then I lubed it. It's really hard to get clean. But these teeth look really good. I don't see hardly any wear on the stainless steel. Just the spur gear. Eh, that's gonna suck.